Salut à tous, on se retrouve pour la partie 4 de l'épisode 5 de Tales from the Borderlands. Et on avait retrouvé euh, Vaughn. Il est devenu chef, euh, chef des bandits. Enfin, c'est pas vraiment des bandits, c'est plutôt des expats euh, d'Elios. Mais c'est stylé. Et vu que c'est le patron, il va nous mettre bien également. Voilà. Euh... Ok. <rire> yeah, they're Which is really odd for a bunch of ex-Hyperion. Hello! Man, <laughs> will you look at these weirdos, huh? <laughs> All right? They can be a little obsessive. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't expecting them to bow to you when we showed up. But me? Th this isn't for you? <laughs> You're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for them. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of Jack. Yes, very observant. It was at one point, but uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. <laughs> Someone tried to alter the face to look like you, but um, most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. I am pretty uncomfortable right now. That makes two of us. Reese, you don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios shed them of their corporate shackles. I guess we'll. See how this goes. Oh, y'en a, ils volent là, à gauche. Y'en avait un, ils volaient en bas à gauche. Ah. C'est un morceau de Gortis. <rire> wow! <rire> My forehead isn't really that big. <rire> Is it? I told you, they're sucky. Kill it with fire. <rire> hey! Oh, what? Did you forget we have a prisoner to interrogate? No. You're not even a little curious to hear what this guy has to say? I mean, yeah, but there's fruit. I'm talking to him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. Why, I got a gun. Okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're back up, and I'll be good cop. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Il serait pas crédible, Riss, en, en bon flic. Enfin, en mauvais flic. We got answers and we want some questions. So you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer her line of questioning. All right, spit it out. Who are you? A truth seeker. Enough of the haiku bullshit. You give us straight answers when we ask you a question. You're supposed to be a good cop. Are you sure? <laughs> Or else one of us, just slightly unclear which one. That shotgun. It's a Hyperion model. I saw that in Jack's office. So you must have been to the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just no more games. I so do know you. Ça se trouve c'est euh... Ça se trouve c'est c'est la pote là de de Riss. C'est qui C'est Black, tu crois I saw the betrayal. I saw it, but I could not believe it. Putain, je sais pas du tout qui c'est. Je 
one thing. Oh! After giving so much, I had sacrificed everything. Oh putain! For my friends, only to be betrayed. Comment ça trahi? Ah, c'est parce qu'on a tué Gortis. Il est trop une tête de con comme ça. Yeah, hi. Uh, I have a lot of questions. <rire> you and me both. I had to shoot her. I wanted to believe that too. Quoi, il y avait une autre solution? How is this even possible? I mean, how are you even standing here right now? I went back to Helios. Ah bah oui To find you to learn the truth <laughs> But why the disguise? I mean why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was, you would lie about what happened. It is in your nature to lie. He's got a point there. Right, Hyperion guy, con artist. It checks out. I really am sorry about Gordas. I didn't have a choice. I know that now. I am sorry for not trusting you. Please forgive me. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> that is a face, right? I'm sorry, too. <laughs> no need. You had your distance. He's so mignon. Okay, so obviously I'm excited to see Loaderbot, too. But it doesn't explain why you got us all together. I mean, I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a I brought you together to help me escape oh Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Euh ouais mais viens voir le boss. Wow. Yeah. Heavy. Have you forgotten about the Vault monster that nearly killed us? Ah oh, mais maintenant on a une armée aussi. This time it will be different. How? We will all be there to fight it with some friends. We were unprepared. Weak. That won't be the case this time. That's not much of a plan. Allez. Not that I'm saying no. Why are we still talking about it? I'm in. Let's do it. For Gordas. And as a bonus, the treasure in that vault. Ouais. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. Whatever help the children of Helios can provide is at your service. Okay. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Killing the vault monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. So, you, me, LB, Bond's on board. Hell LB, yeah, the dog bird. I can get Sasha here. No, oh, uh, so she's, uh... How many more we need? Vault hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. Two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? Oh, moi j'en ai plein. It's all you. Oh yeah! Uh, okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Ah, ça va être cool de choisir. Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that she achieves clarity through visualization oh oh okay well you know why didn't you just say that alors casius le vieux c'est quoi ça déjà on prend Athena ça c'est sûr
disponible. Vous avez dit à Springs qu'Athena l'aimait. Elle vous est reconnaissante pour avoir sauvé sa relation. Athena la gladiatrice. Une légende vivante. L'expérience d'Athéna pour anéantir les gardiens de l'Arche serait extrêmement utile, bien que l'on... Bien qu'on l'ait vu se faire traîner par deux chasseurs de l'Arche la dernière fois, je doute que quelqu'un puisse la garder captive très longtemps. Personnalité chaleureuse, moins 73%, sentiment 100% d'angoisse. <rire> Sélectionner, elle c'est sûr, déjà je la prends. Zéro, ouais sûrement, Félix, ta mère. Non, en vrai, on va peut-être le prendre. Là, c'est quoi, ça Indisponible. Vous n'avez pas économisé assez d'argent pour vous payer le chasseur de l'arche mystère. Ah, merde. J'ai trouvé quelqu'un de nouveau. Il est expérimenté. Mais il semble qu'il est plus que ce que nous pouvons offrir. Qui est-ce Pas de point dans le dire. Vous êtes juste désappointé. Je ne sais pas qui c'est. J'arrive pas à savoir. Auguste, on prend up. Lui, on prend up. Déjà, on prend zéro. C'est mon gars sûr. Vous vous êtes identifié comme une chasseuse de l'arche devant Mordecai. Zéro l'a appris et il aimerait bien vous voir en action. Zéro l'assassin. Un sinistre assassin plein de mystères. On a récemment croisé la route de Zéro dans la course mortelle. Là où il a tué... Bossa Nova et la majorité des spectateurs. Il est fort probable que les, nou... que... Attends, que les nouvelles d'une nouvelle arche le fassent sortir de sa cachette. Style de discours, efficace. Ouais, parce qu'il parle jamais. Je crois... Enfin, je crois qu'il parle jamais. Utilisation d'emote au max. <rire> euh, Springs. Ah ouais, la meuf d'Athéna, why not Why not Y'a personne d'autre Attends, je fais vraiment le tour. Ok, Springs. Disponible. Vous avez honoré Scooter en déployant son satellite. Elle sera ravie de vous aider. Springs, la mécano. La nouvelle opératrice du garage de Scooter est une reine de la mécanique qui s'est récemment réinstallée sur Pandore avec sa petite amie Athéna. Après la capture d'Athéna et la construction de la fusée, on lui doit sûrement plus, plus qu'une faveur. Pourquoi pas une de plus Efficacité, clé de serrage, ceinture noire. <rire> Composition, personnalité, 74% de bonheur, 26% de vengeance. Allez, c'est parti. On est chaud. Confirmer l'équipe. Ouais, ouais, ouais. En route pour niquer des mers. Un petit skag. Ah, ça c'était zéro. Ah oui, c'est en fait on va le chercher. On va aller chercher un parrain. <rire> Lol. Springs. <rire> Lol. Et Athéna. C'est la bonne chose à faire. Badass. Plus l'armée de, de Vaughn. On va vraiment niquer des mers. Ah. 
I heard you were looking for the Gordas Core yourself. Well, that was before. I've abandoned that mission. My queue was too full. I've been there. They really start to pile up. But those days are behind you now. Right. Thank you for coming. Sure. I'm mostly here for the loot. Weddings are expensive. So I've heard. I told you we can keep it modest. The napkin <laughs> holders you picked up are more than modest. <laughs> well, those I have to have. This is all really exciting. I don't usually get invited to missions like this. You'll see. They can be a grind sometimes. Well, I'm still excited. Isn't Sasha supposed to be here for this? <sighs> Relax, she will be. We'll catch her up when she gets here. All right. So, in order to access the mysterious treasures of the vault... Ahem. ...and assure the safety of Gordas, we gotta destroy the monster that protects us. This is the Traveler. It's quite impressive. That's the largest vault monster I have ever seen. Ah, il y oh, avait yeah. celui It's du big. dos qui était It's pas mal nasty. aussi. Hein. It's gotta go. To make matters more fun and complicated, it teleports. Yay! Hence the whole traveler thing. How do we deal with its teleportation? What little information we were able to gather seems to point to a gland, tucked in its giant tummy there, as the source for its teleportation abilities. Okay. Which is why you and Sasha need to get inside it. When the traveler teleports, there's a swirl of energy at the point where it's going to jump to. You just have to time it so that when you get the caravan... The caravan? Yeah, that's what I said. It flies now, remember? You just gotta time it so that you're inside the energy thing when the monster shows up. Once you're in, you wire up the gland. Weird to keep calling it that. With explosives. Trigger the remote detonator and get the heck out of there. So what's everyone else's role? Good question. The B team... That's you guys. You're saddled with the unenviable task of drawing the monster over to this area. You get the monster toward the vicinity of this ledge. It tries to jump into range. The caravan flies into the energy swirly thing before it jumps. So, <laughs> where do I fit into all of this? You, sir, are our motivational speaker. Okay. After the teleportation is offline, we need Gordas to wrestle the traveler into place for the moonbeam. And that's going to require some convincing. And that's what you and Loaderbot are in charge of. Well, I guess... I guess this is what we're doing. Well, sounds good to me. Yeah. At least, what I heard of it. Oh, pas mal la coupe. I... I thought you were dead. Je te <laughs> Get over here! We looked for you. We did. It's... It's really great to see you. Because, well, I didn't think I would. A at least not alive. So I, uh, you know, I think I missed you. I think I missed you, too. Uh, -huh. uh yeah. <laughs> right. All right, all right. I know what the hell that was. We've got a vault monster to kill. <laughs> Ah, je pense qu'ils auraient été solo, il euh, y aurait eu plus que des <rire> ok. Ah, mais elle est mignonne, hein. Ah, on a la Merco. Ah non, c'est vrai que c'est une Rolls. Bon, on va s'arrêter là pour cette partie 4 de l'épisode 5, si je me trompe pas. Merci de l'avoir regardé. On se retrouve pour la suite dans quelques jours et je pense que ce sera la fin. Salut